One of the Lakers' biggest weak spots last season on the roster was big men depth, and with Anthony Davis being known to love playing the power forward position, this is something the Lakers needed to address. I feel like the undrafted signing of Colin Castleton has gone under the radar and can help in this regard. He was listed at 6'11 last season, but he looks like a 7-footer to me, and he has real skills on both ends of the floor that we will go over later that makes me hype about his future. Let's start on the offensive end. The most impressive thing about him on that side easily is his passing ability. At Florida, countless times he got the rebound and pushed the pace like he was a point guard, resulting in early offense. And for a big man, he has quick instincts in terms of passing, and he can be lethal on the perimeter with the ball at the elbow, foul line, or of course in the post. He hits cutters consistently if they get an inch of space from their initial defender, resulting in easy layups. He's also very good in the short roll situation as a passer, finding the open man in the short corner or the three-point line. And most of his production as a scorer will come from being a roller with a ball handler who can attract multiple defenders and find the open man. He is a vertical lob threat at the rim with his size and athleticism. He also has some sweet touch and footwork, which helps him finish in traffic. He also has a lot to handle when he crashes the offensive glass. Two years ago, he averaged 3.1 offensive rebounds a game. He absolutely lives off tip-ins, off misses, and he has some put-back slamajamas every now and again. So offensively, he has the potential to be a big who can play make while being a lob threat and a solid threat as a roller. I would not count him out from eventually adding a three-point shot. His form doesn't look terrible and his free throw percentage was 72.9% last season. There is something there if he works on it and builds confidence from shooting from beyond the arc. Now defensively, he's a monster, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be a monster at the next level. He averaged three blocks per game at Florida. He has great awareness of when he needs to rotate to contest somebody driving to the rim. He's at his best while playing drop coverage in the pick and roll, but I just think that's the case because that's what Florida ran scheme-wise. His mobility is underrated in my eyes. He can play multiple different pick and roll coverages. He can survive on the perimeter in certain situations and have success because he has shown he can give guys cushion so they won't blow by him, but at the same time, he can deter a perimeter shot because of his length. And speaking of length, he always has a chance to recover if he gets blown by. Plus, he's smart in terms of staying straight up and not bailing out guys, falling for pump fakes and fouling. And as he goes through an NBA training program, I expect him to get more mobile and lighter on his feet. He has a real chance to be a defensive menace. He really gives me the vibes of being the Walker Kessler of this year's draft class. Now, to end off this video, I want to go back to the offensive end of the floor. It seems to me there is some untapped potential of developing an off-the-dribble game for him, like off-the-catch or something like that. He's great in transition, but struggles getting by defenders and using his handle to score the basketball for himself. But he does have a pretty solid handle for his size, and his movement reminds me of the Bucks version of Brook Lopez. Just like him, he will have big sagging off of him, so he should be able to get to his spot. But converting and finishing and having confidence to even take shots seems to be the issue. If he can develop a three-pointer and a reliable mid-range weapon, like a floater off the dribble or something like that, it could really unlock another level to his potential. Because the passing ability is all grand and cool, but it becomes less of a weapon and less valuable if you aren't a scoring threat at all in terms of self-creation. But overall, he can become a productive big man and maybe, maybe just maybe, he develops into something more than that. Because trust me, it seems like there is more there. It just needs to be unlocked with endless work and belief from he himself and also the coaching staff. Let me know your thoughts below. Was this a steal for the Lakers? Will he have a role right away? It is yet to be seen, but I can't wait to see how he looks in the summer league. That will answer a lot of questions.